Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are drawing the Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup. It's the NHL hockey playoffs, so we're gonna do the Stanley Cup. Alright, so what do we need to draw? Um, a Sharpie. Yep. A light and dark gray marker. marker, yeah. And what about this? A paper. Yeah, and it's a paper, alright? So get all that stuff and follow along. All right, guys, so to start off, we're gonna draw the Stanley Cup vertically. So we're gonna find the center of our page down here at the bottom, and we're gonna draw a line in this in the center. Try to draw it as much in the center as possible. So you just draw kind of like a curved line like this. Yep. And then you're gonna have like a little round edge on the corner, on both corners. And then you'll come up just a little bit And then from here, we will curve like this, follow the bottom curve, and connect those two ends. Okay, then come in a little bit right about here. Okay, so I'm gonna put like a little dot just above and a little dot over here on the other side inwards a little bit. And then I'm gonna follow this line here as closely as possible with another line like that. And then from here, I'm gonna draw a curved line like that, that kind of connects there. Yep. So from here, we will go up. Now watch how far up I go. I'm gonna come with a straight line and we're gonna go like right about here. So, like so right here. I would say you'll go right about there. So, and then, so go inside of that line. Yep, inside that line and go straight down. Yep, now find this point over here somewhere around here you're gonna stop so you're gonna do a straight line same like this on the left side you'll go straight you could I would start from the bottom and then go straight up and try to stop you can you can stop like this you know what I mean and then keep going just to double check and then stop when it gets close yeah just like that now what we can do is we can connect the top of this shape here we'll connect a straight line Cross. Hey guys, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So please help us out and click that subscribe button down below. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, now we can divide this into four parts. One, two, three, four. The bottom is going to have more of a curve that kind of follows the bottom edge of your base. Then the next one's gonna have a little bit less curve. And then this one is gonna have even less. And then the last one's gonna be almost straight like that. Awesome. All right, now let's find the corners up here and we're gonna come in just a little bit and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a little lip, but see how thick it is? It's not too thick. And then we'll do the same on this side. We'll do like a curve like that. And then we'll join those together. And then from here, we'll come up and over and we'll do the same on the other side, up and over to the left. And we'll join those two together. Okay. Then we're gonna come in a bit, right about here, and we're gonna go up. And we're gonna find the same on the other side and go up. Now what we wanna do is we can connect these two lines together with a straight line. But now what we'll do is we'll just come and extend that line just a little bit more past the edge. Okay, then we're gonna come up. This is gonna be a little bit thicker now. It's gonna be thicker like this. And then we'll connect those two shapes together. And then you're gonna curve the top of it a little bit like this. And then you'll connect those two together. Now see where this line is here? If you did an imaginary line up, you're gonna come in a little bit from there. 
So you're going to come up and you're going to do the same on this side. You're going to go up and then go over to the left a little bit and then come up. And then we'll do another connection. We'll connect those and we'll extend it a little bit. So we're doing these tiers of steps here. So we'll do another one of these we'll do up here. So we'll go up again on both sides. We'll connect them together and then we'll curve the top again and we'll connect that. All right, so now we're, all, we're, we're done that part. So now we're gonna create the bottom part for where the cup is gonna be held at the top. So right at this corner, come up, and this is gonna be a little bit thicker. It's a little bit taller. Okay, and now you're gonna curve this, like curve it up a little bit, just a little bit of a curve upwards. Halfway, but almost halfway, and do another curve like that. All right, now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna come actually in like right about here, like that. So see the edge of your Stanley Cup down here? You don't wanna draw the bowl too far past that over there. So if you drew an imaginary line here, you wanna stay inside of that, okay? So watch how I go up. I'm gonna come up and over. Now see, I'm watching right here. I'm not gonna go past this line here. I'm gonna go like this and do like a little bowl shape, yep. Now I'm gonna try to do the same curve on the other side. So if you don't wanna go past this line here and you don't wanna go past this edge on this side, right? So we'll come up and we'll hook over and we'll come up. And now we can create a curve that goes up slightly and back down and meets up. Excellent. All right, now we can put some details in. We'll do a nice tiny line just off the edge of the cup at the top of the bowl. And then right over here, the Stanley Cup has some like detail in it. So here you can do these like round things. It doesn't have to be like this straight line. It can go up and down like that. See how I'm gonna go in like a wave almost? Uh-huh. And then you can do these shapes like this. Watch, it's gonna be like these arches that go up and down up and down, almost like a bridge, like a bridge. Awesome. Now, if you want, you could put these like little tiny ribs in that bridge. So those would be like little detail engravings. And then down over here where these little, these little bumps are, you can just do this, watch. You can kind of follow the edge of the cup and kind of go like this and just do these curved shapes that kind of point at the bottom like that. And then if you want to add a couple more ribs at the base here, you can do a couple more like, I'm just gonna put three lines at the bottom. And I'll put like three lines here. And I'm gonna put one more wavy line right over here on this top piece. Awesome. Now I'm going to go and do another little detail. So I'm going to create like a rib. So these are like being stacked on each other. So I'm going to create a little bump on the edge and I'm going to create a line that follows all of these ones will have the same thickness. So you can keep going and just do every single one. So you'll have four at the end. All right, guys, whose do you think turned out amazing? Yours. I like yours too. Yours looks pretty good, huh? You ready to color this in? Mm -hmm. All right, let's show everybody how we're gonna color it in. We're gonna use two gray markers, a light gray and a darker gray, and we're gonna speed up the video so you guys can follow along and watch us. And if you want to get 
the line art drawing, just go down below in the description, click on the link, and you can download the coloring page. Alright guys, thanks for watching our video. If you want to go in and you can write really small, you can put all of your hockey players' names in the cup if you can write really small and have some fun doing that. And we hope you liked our video, so click the like button above Tyler's head. It's right here floating. And click the subscribe button that is going to pop up right over here. Subscribe to our channel because we want 10,000 followers by the end of this year. Okay guys? So we'll see you another day. Have fun. Bye-bye.